This is Steampunk. I think we're gonna make some magic. I decided to wear prosthetic elf ears because why not? I like to show a little bit of my nerd side, so why not be an elf today? Kato, how you doing? We're really excited because we're gonna do like an evil hero, Finn Fatale, and this is really hot, sexy chick, and she's just like, I'm into alchemy, I've got gadgets, I'm turning lead into gold. <laughs> Magical. Oh, guys, be on this. Oh, I did the arm piece. You made that armor? I made this armor. Trying to appeal to a certain judge, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Armor bump. <laughs> I feel like instead of Team Eddie, I think we're gonna call it Team Cluster. <laughs> the countertop, setting the rivets. I heard somewhere you liked rivets. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's fifth grade gym class all over again. <laughs> the second place maker is James. What? So yeah, here's the plan. Yeah, solid plan. Here's the plan. Scrap everything we talked about. We're gonna wing this. Ooh. I'm not saying. That's not a plan. That's, That's not a plan. plan. It's still no plan. It's Morgan, you should keep your big mouth shut. Avi, in my opinion, kind of looks like a post-apocalyptic beekeeper. I love the punk yard. It's awesome. You can find a million things in there. I mean, if you can't find anything, you're definitely not creative enough to do this. I need some steam. <laughs> Look at all the fun things to play with. All right, so welcome to my crazy world. A hot mess train wreck to hell. I just get tired of listening to this guy just steamroll over everybody. There's $100,000 in the line, so I am prepared to get extremely aggressive. I don't handle failure well for the simple reason I haven't experienced it much. Team JW, great job. JW, no more excuses. We won because of what I did. I'm so done with both of them. My sole intention is to politely annihilate Morgan and Eddie. Why does he have to be so negative right now? Negative Nancy. My nursery looks amazing. The only thing that would top this off, if we put a bonnet and a pacifier on JW and set his fat ass in the crib. I'm over it. I'm tired of this crap. And if you can, lose it, you must. But always throw someone under the bus. It must be bitchin' helps her through it because she does an awful lot of it. Back off, lady, I got this. All right, dude. I... She's ready to roll, baby. She's ready to roll. Steampunk Eddie lives another day. <laughs> <laughs> it's steampunk as steampunk can get. I am literally on cloud nine with this whole thing. You'll need to make your secret lair fit for a femme fatale. Femme fatale is a pure force of nature, not only in beauty, but in power. Is the costume exactly the way you wanted it to look, or were you a bit pushed for time? Would you have done anything differently? Pieces of it were very ill-fitting. Morgan, tell me why I should keep you. I mean, it fit me. It's perfect. I'll just I be taking you. this and I'll see you later. <laughs> I literally felt like like an Asian catalog threw up on their room on the first view. I mean, okay, no pressure, but airships are my absolute favorite thing in steampunk. <laughs> but I feel like she's gonna get sucked into an exhaust port and get shredded. <laughs> Talk about a, a, a sci-fi centerpiece. That's a sci-fi centerpiece. Absolutely. That looks like a country kitchen. As when you look at the corset, she looks cylindrical. I kind of like rivets. Repurpose belts to make a harness. I put that in a book. I love this idea. It was like a hot glue Gatling gun. Yeah. You know, it was the best 60% of an outfit that I've <laughs> seen in a long time. This is a competition about making stuff. It's not a popularity contest. Right. If it were a popularity contest, then Morgan wouldn't be there. Miss should never wear clothing that's attacking you. There. Yeah. I feel he put his heart into this room. But there's a small heart attack, which is that fan that of death up there, which may fall down and kill somebody. Go forth, make incredible things.